Hey everybody and welcome back to a GW pre-order video. Now this week there is quite a bit of a diversity. There's a lot of uh, 40k stuff and a lot of Age of Sigmar stuff. So let's just jump right into it. So with 40k we have the three new terrain pieces. Now these are incredible. These are This is a really awesome set you can get. Uh, Sector, Mechanicus, Galvanic, Servo, Servo Haulers. Then we have Mechanicus Prometheum Forge. Uh, yeah. And then we have the Ferritonic Incinerator. Now these are the Prometheum Forge and the Ferritonic. Well, no, I, yes, you could include them. These are like really different terrain pieces from what we've seen before. These two maybe are a little bit familiar, but the Servo Haulers are so different from what we've seen before. These are incredible. With these three pieces, especially this one, I think it's going to add life to a terrain table. Instead of just having, you know, buildings like this, which, not wrong, the buildings, they're fine, they're really good, they look really nice on the table. But this is going to add a little bit more life to it, you know, like, this was once a place of where they were working, or maybe they're working now. It's not just like a deserted building where everyone's just fighting all the time. It's it's a really good release. Um, the incinerator I really like as well because it gives you plenty of options. You can basically make it this way or you can, instead of having it lengthways, you can have it a bit more height to it, which is probably the way I'd go. And then I think the other way is like this. Yeah, you can give it like two separate pieces all together, which is awesome. So, and they're priced okay. Man. 60 for that one, obviously, because it's bigger. And you get this awesome, awesome kind of skull spider. I think you can see him. Let's have it. Here he is. Look at that. That is a thing of nightmares. That is that spider in Toy Story under Sid's bed that comes out that frings the shit out of you when you were a kid. That thing is awesome. That's super cool. Um, that's 60 euro. That's the bigger piece. And 32 50 for this. Which, to be honest with you, isn't bad. Because it's such a different terrain piece and it, it really adds depth to a table. I love that crane. It's so good. Um, it is only pretty much three pieces and then like a few little pieces as well. Like you have the fire extinguisher and the toolkit and everything here. You know, that's pretty cool. But then on the Edge of Sigmar side, there's another big release. We have the uh, the Navigator for the Car Cardron Overlords. Then we have Brock Grungeson, Lord Magnate or Magnate of Barak Nair. Okay, I love all these names that I can't pronounce. And then we have the big, big ship. If it will come on. The Arcanaut Ironclad. Now this is 90 euro. This is the big ship. This is... Uh, let's have a look at the description. I know what it's packed up, but let's just kind of get a quick overrun. Or an overlook. Oh, I'm gone too far. The jewel in the crown of the fleet, the Arcanaut Ironclad, is, the, is a majestic airship. Bristling with weaponry, cargo holes. Uh, okay, okay, so... You're pretty much... It's like the biggest... It's their big ship. But this thing... Like, not only... Like, it's riddled with weapons. It has tons of weapons on it. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Transporter ship for... I think they're called a Sky... Skyfleet guys, but they're not released yet. That's why I'm not too sure on the names yet. But it's like the infantry, if infantry version of these guys, of this guy with a little kind of balloon on his back, so they're flying around like that. This thing can carry up to twenty five of them and transport them around the board. And um, you have your cannons. Look at like there's some cannon in the front sides. You have your bombs, and this thing is riddled with detail. Look at this guy hanging out the side. Look at this door. The anchor. The drill. Holy shit, this thing has a lot of stuff on it. This is a... And you have your crew. Holy crap, there's a lot on this. This is probably the big centerpiece. You know the armies would have like a big monster? Well, this is their centerpiece model. It has to be. It's so awesome. It's oh look! I think that's called a skyhook. So you have different choices. Can imagine all the bits that's going to be left off after you make this. 
There's the guys that it can transport around. It can carry up to 25 of them. So you can see kind of why it's 90 euro. Uh, the only the only bad thing is you don't get to have a look at it next to the other ships. Maybe you're doing another picture, but they should have shown it here to really get a feel of the size. That would have been a lot better. So have a quick look at the sprue. Holy shit, look at all them pieces. But I really like this. I re I'm really starting to like this army. And then we have your named character. Uh, Brock. Now this guy, this guy is packed to them stuff. When I was reading the description about him. Um, he has like the balloon thingy that floats. He goes around with. But he has like. He has guns in his mustache here. Yeah they're guns. They shoot out. He has a cannon over his head. Uh, let's see there is. He obviously has that big gun. He has like the chainsaw type of thing. And he has a gun in his other arm. I'm trying to get a good look at it. It's kind of wrapped around him like a, like a fist. That, that has to be like a mini cannon or something. But I like this guy. I like these kind of the flying guys with the balloons. Uh, and the fact that he has a top hat as well. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not a gun popping out of the pot, uh, out of the top hat. But he looks he looks really good. I like the feet thing here as well. That probably like launches him off into the sky. Um and then we have The Navigator. Now this guy I like this guy. He's a bit there's a bit too much kind of going on with this guy. But I kind of feel like he he needs this. He needs all this going on. Um, I would have liked to mix up the colors a little bit much. There's, like everything's like bronze. Let's see if this will flip around. Maybe not, but let's have a look at some of the pictures here. Yeah, like look at all this navigation tools he has. He he's heavily armored. He's he's not like it's not just a suit like on him. It's a it's a, a suit of armor. Um, that's different from the troop guys. There's a lot of stuff going on here at the back. Kind of. This is why I don't like everything being one color metal. It's kind of hard to distinguish everything. But I like his staff. I like this here. Like I like that everything he has on him is like a tool. It's like he needs this for his like navigation duties. Um, but twenty euro, you know, he's not bad. It's a cool little piece. And then finally, uh, what is this tab? Oh yeah, Sector Mechanicus Industrial Bases. Now this is a kind of a nice surprise. Uh, fifty-two bases for twenty-five euro. Now I was kind of thinking, oh shit, that's twenty-five euro on bases, but it's fifty-two, and a lot of them are most. I think forty of them are thirty-two millimeters, forty thirty-two millimeters, two sixty-five round ones, and ten forty-four millimeter bases. Now I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh. For that amount of bases. It's pretty much like 50 cent a base. Something like that. But they really are detailed. I like them a lot. Yeah and that's going to fit in. Uh, with all this new terrain. The kind of the sector mechanicus terrain. As well. I kind of wish that it hadn't. Oh here we have a look at the model with it on. Is that guy blue tack on? Is that a little bit of blue tack under his foot there? I think it is. He's blue tack on. But uh, it's it they're really nice detail terrain uh terrains. What am I saying? Bases. I wish they kinda had like a um, different models on it. But I think that's a good deal, even if like, they'll easily fit any 40k army. Um and then finally quickly we have the new uh, Grombadil, Grombadils. Uh, the White Dwarf 40th birthday, put it that way. And this is the model they're releasing for it. I think it's awesome. It's the White Dwarf in the Space Marine armor. It's his birthday and you have like a little, I was going to say a goblin, but I think that's a, like a grass. A little grass guy from 40k hiding in the cake. And it's just some of the details on this is so awesome when I spotted it when I was looking at it. Like he has a little bear drink. Um, he has this kind of 
the G on the on the shoulder pad is awesome. But then you have the presents here, like he has a little bolt gun in a box for a present. The rest of them look like that's like a like a barrel of beer, that type of thing. Um and you can see from this picture as well. You have your Bugman's L L as well. So that's a cool little model, uh to, what size base is that on? Uh, 25 millimeter round. Also, it's not that big. Thought it would have been a bit bigger. 2250 is temporarily out of stock. Temporarily out of stock now, but you know it's a cool little model if you're really into your, your collector stuff. Maybe you can stick him on a space, stick stick him in with your Space Marine Army and use him somehow that way. But I think it's a really good release this week. Um, the the Overlords have some really nice stuff still coming out. Uh, the Arcanaut Ironclad is that's awesome. It is that's gonna be so. It's gonna take so long to put together and paint, but that's a really nice big centerpiece. And then the forty k terrain is awesome as well. That's yeah. The more I look at this one, I love the server haulers. They're so cool. It's just something different. It's really nice. I really like it. But anyway, I leave it at that. If you guys like this week's. Uh, releases or pre-orders I should say let me know in the comment section below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video